Thank you.
Please be seated. President, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to Commemoration Day 2016. Imperial College London's graduation ceremonies commemorate the visit in 1945 of His Majesty, the late King George VI, and Her Majesty, the late Queen Elizabeth, to the college, where they honored with their presence our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the foundation of the Royal College of Chemistry, a forerunner of the Imperial College. The governors of the college resolved that this event should be commemorated each year by an assembly of the governors, the presidents, the provost, the professors, the readers, the lecturers, and those in statue pupillari as an act of homage to our visitor the reigning sovereign. This would serve as a mark of gratitude for all those who have helped the college and as a sign of personal rededication to the pursuit of knowledge in science and engineering and their application for the well-being of mankind. We meet today to recognize the outstanding achievements of our undergraduate students of the college in all our endeavors, in sporting triumphs, artistic and musical excellence, diversity in both culture and ideas, volunteering, and not least in academia. Yet in doing so, may today's graduates also acknowledge that they not only have enormous potential to contribute towards the advancement of mankind, but that they also shoulder the burden of expectation created by the achievements of those who came before us. Our time as students in the Faculty of Natural Science never was solely for academia or achievement, but also to immerse ourselves in university life, developing as fulfilled, capable individuals, forging friendships that will last a lifetime, and tackling higher concepts of ethics, philosophy, and society. In doing so, we have made a unique contribution to the history of the faculty an institution which started with the Royal College of Chemistry in 1845, and now includes the science graduates we see here today. In future years, yours will be the shoulders that subsequent graduates stand upon. In the words of King George on the college's first commemoration day, regard your knowledge and your skill always in the light of a trust for the benefit of humanity and thereby ensure, so far as in you lies, that science may never be put to uses which offend the higher conscience of mankind. So let us now remember all those who have served the college from its beginning, in council and in deeds, and particularly our founder, His Royal Highness Albert, the Prince Consul. Let us rededicate ourselves in humility to seeking the truth, to the pursuit of natural knowledge and to the application of this knowledge to the service of our fellow people in all parts of the world. Gloriat Collegium Imperiali. God save the Queen. Members of court, council, Colleagues, distinguished honorees, and most especially our graduates and family members, it is my honor as the president of Imperial College London to welcome you to Commemoration Day 2016. We gather today to celebrate and to congratulate our graduates. We wish them well in their future endeavors. Graduates, we applaud you we applaud your many accomplishments during your time at Imperial. You are exceptional individuals with a multitude of talents. You have demonstrated your ability as students, athletes, artists, musicians, entrepreneurs, community volunteers, and in countless other ways. You have used your time here wisely, 
both inside and outside the lecture halls and labs. You leave this place with a broader perspective and a deeper understanding of the world, and you are prepared to address the challenges that confront it. Your education, talents, and perspectives are needed now more than ever. And there are many challenges. Food security, climate change, health care, chronic and infectious disease, weakness in the global financial system, clean water, and many other seemingly intractable problems confront the world today. Finding solutions requires people who are technically adept. It requires people with educational foundations in science, engineering, medicine, or business. People who can work across disciplinary boundaries. People who are trained to think rigorously and to question the status quo. Finding solutions to complex problems requires people who know that extremely difficult does not mean impossible. Your imperial education has been a privilege. It is a privilege that comes with responsibility. You have the ability and the responsibility to improve the world and to serve others. I know that you will carry out this responsibility well through your individual and collaborative efforts. Imperial College London is a European university and in fact a global university. This has given you a rare opportunity to benefit from being part of Imperial's international community. You have learned from academics who may have been born in one country, educated in another, and who collaborate globally in their research. You have shared classes and made lasting friendships with students from all over the world. The major problems facing the world extend beyond national borders, and they demand global cooperation and collaboration. We need people who understand that the well-being of a nation is enhanced, not hindered, by working for the global good. We benefit from mobility and the opportunity to collaborate with people all over the world. Today, scientists, business leaders, engineers, medics, and entrepreneurs often have lived in multiple countries and they collaborate freely with colleagues across the planet. The world comes together across disciplinary and political boundaries to address world health crises, such as SARS, Ebola, or MERS. Last February, 10 days after the World Health Organization declared a health emergency in response to Zika, 30 scientific journals, research institutes, and nonprofit groups based in Europe, Asia, Africa, South America, and the US signed a data sharing agreement. Around the world, academics, governments, and corporations are collaborating to understand and defeat this disease. They are working together to map the genome of the Aedes mosquito, to understand the pathways of infection, and to work on effective detection, prevention, and treatment. Researchers are collaborating to overcome this global threat, and it is irrelevant where they were born or what passport they hold. You are entering a world with intensive globalization along with serious backlash to it. In a recent 18 nation survey, 51% of respondents considered themselves more as global citizens than citizens of the country where they were born. In some countries, these numbers are increasing while in others, especially in Europe, global citizenship is on the decline. I urge you to maintain your global perspective in your careers and personal life. Continue to work, collaborate, think, and act internationally. All of us here today are proud of you, and we are excited about everything you will accomplish. Our 190,000 alumni are proud to welcome you to join a distinguished group pursuing rewarding and successful lives doing myriad things, interesting things, all around the world. As you leave Imperial, use your technical knowledge and your global perspective to help shape the future. 
the active participants in solving the problems of today and the problems that will arise in the years ahead. We look forward to hearing from you. We promise to keep in touch with you and we hope that you will come back as alumni and inspire the next generation of students with your successes. Congratulations. President and Chair, I beg leave to present those who have received awards within the Faculty of Natural Sciences. The names will be announced by Professor Alan Armstrong, Head of the Department of Chemistry, Professor Murray Selkirk, Head of the Department of Life Sciences, Professor Richard Craster, Head of the Department of Mathematics, and by Professor Jordan Nash, Head of the Department of Physics. Due to the large number of graduates being presented today, may I ask the audience to reserve applause to prize winners and until the end of the group. Associates of the Royal College of Science and first degrees of the University. Bachelors of Science from the Department of Chemistry. Long Hei Ao. Tasmin Bayer. Hong Hao Sai. Oliver Carroll. Yijun Chen, Hassan Chowdhury, Owen Dawson, winner of the HVA Briscoe Prize in Inorganic Chemistry, Leander Doni. <laughs> Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the Joint Honours Program, Lena Maria Elizabeth Forsman. <laughs> Xia Wen Fu. Xiang Guo. Harbin Kauhea. William Henderson. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the best group report on the Joint Honours Programme, Isabel Holding. Amy Irvin, Harvey Johnson, Nawid Keshtmand, Nathaniel Kima, Sherry Yi Kwok, Chi Him Kwong, Hitong Lai, Wee King Lao, Nok Him Leung. Yu Li. Holly Laura Limbrick. Jan Lin. Tilan Lindich. J. E. Lu. Su Ying Ma. Manying Mildred Mack. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance BSc, the ICBS Prize for Best Management Performance on the Joint Honours Programme, and the ICBS Prize for Best Overall Performance in Joint Honours, Chen Yu. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance in BSc, Zayok Shio.
Juhin Patel, Janet Pete, Stephanie Hyung Lampong, Yi Cheng Chen, James Oliver Quigley, Andrew Rajendran, Hu Long Su. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the Best Group Report on the Joint Honours Program, Bruno Florian Tamboso. <laughs> Sukfun Tan. Shirley Wang. Rachel Welsh. Mount Tet Nine Win. Awarded the Governor's Prize, Eric Chan Zhao Zhao. Zhuya Zhao. Masters in Science from the Department of Chemistry. Zainab Ahmed. Awarded the John McCombie Memorial Prize, Naz Andriopoulos. <laughs> Philippa Ashton. James Badman. Simon Bartus, Nikita Batia, Philip Brookin, Polina Bujkovic, Alexander Card, Joshua Carr, Hussan Sen, Yasravinda Chola, Thomas Chen, Yun Chao, Charles Crossland, Wei Dai, Amy Dark, awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance in MSI and the Joachim Steinke Prize for Organic or Polymer Chemistry, Nils Floden. Fung Pak Tung, Elaine Fowler, William Fulton, Thasneem Gafur, Nathaniel Gallup, Jacket Preet Gill, Emily Gibson, Jeffrey Gorman. Ryan Reese Griffiths, Bjorn Gugu, Jaisu Han, Mia Homsak, Jake Hooten, Sophia Heyer, Kaspers Carlson, awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize, Jan Kosko. Shona Kumar, Elizabeth LaRose Cadieux, Tina Leontidou, Pulius Lasauskas, Roland Lee, Sean Linsall, Waylam Phyllis Liu. Sarah Francis Lockett, Karen Long, Kai Ma, awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for Outstanding Overall Performance, BSc, Arid Matty. Juliana <laughs> Maria, Adam Marks, Nicholas MacDonald, Peter McGrath, Megan Midsom, Kelsey Mills, Sanish Mystery, Adam Mohan, 
awarded the Sir Arthur Ackland Prize for Language, Elizabeth Morecambe. Awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize, Philip Morris. Peter Munton. Jade Nagita. Sahar Osman. Samuel John Page. Emily Pomenta. Noemi Perhu Holland. Dante Gabriel Preda. Rosemary Puliana Palio. Oliver Robottom. Lucy Rowlands. Jennifer Louise Samphire. Jeroen Sapp. Joshua Sapsford. Shababa Salim. Mira Shah, Megan Shipton, Rachel Sim, James Peter Simpson, Simran Singh Gill, Daniel Spencer, Jasper Sassen, Bashini Supramanium. Jan Schapinski, Michelle Tan, Shukai Wang, awarded the Department of Chemistry Prize for finally a best organic research project, the Francis Micklethwaite Prize, and the Governor's Prize, William Whitehurst. <laughs> Emma Woodcock. Yang Zhu, Lu Peng Yang, Yu Ting Yao, Zainab Chachia, Yi Chen, Abigail Sawyer, Ying Chao Wang, Jenny Du Hu Zhang, and Thomas Oliver. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Chemistry. I invite the head of the Department for Life Sciences, Professor Murray Selkirk, to the lectern. <laughs> Bachelors of Science from the Department of Life Sciences. Nuru Soraya Binti Ashukor, Flavio Affinito, Ijaz Ahamadin, Ji Juan An, Erin Emre Academia, Al Hassan Al Habib, Sahar Ali Khan. Adrian Bailey, Isabel Barrett, George Bartlett, Lucrezia Bassano, Shretha Batia, Ravina Bondi. David Blakey. Alexander Brockhurst. Olivia Burrows. Samuel George Chamberlain. Hei Ching Callista Chan. Paige Chandler. James J. Chun Ting Cheng. 
Travis Renteen Chow. Terence Chung. Nora Clark. Bryony e. Connor. Jane Courtnell. Emily Jane Cramphorn. Shona Crawford Smith. Hannah Creaney. Ivan Alexander Croydon Valeslavov. Amy Cullen. Alexander Dale. Alexander Dawson. Emmeline DeFalb. Thomas Deakin. Agnes Donnelly. Annie Du. Nick Dunn. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the Joint Honours Programme, Zane Ibrahim. <laughs> Nertian Alankovan. Joanna Rosario Alfonso Fernandez. Mihaela Veronica Foisor. George Foote, Guy Frankel, Alicia Graham, Lily Genevier, Lauren Ghent, Rita Broto Gosch, Awarded the Convener's Prize for Bioinformatics, Alice Glynn. <laughs> Abigail Goldblatt. Jacob Gunatilaka. Lukin Gedge. Samantha Louise Granham. Theodore Green. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Biodiversity Genomics, Sophie Gresham. Adam Grimes. Stefan Grossferthner. Tanya Gupta. Molly Gupta. Caroline Hageman. Summerby Hamdorf. Christopher Hayes. Thomas Heaven. Thomas Headley. Philippa Heggy. Richard Holmes. Jordan Holt. Jack Hoy. Tamsin Kitty Hamilton Huggins. Sum Yuet Hui. Ajmal Hussein. Tiffany Tong Yu Huang. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Synthetic Biology, Duncan Ingram. Titapon Jamjam Ratsang. 
awarded the Ian Clark Memorial Prize, Priyanika Jayakuma. <laughs> Heather Jeffrey. Christopher Jenkins. Anna Jernstedt. Awarded the Convener's Prize for the Tropical Biology Field Course, Matthew Jesse. Sarah Johnson. David Jorgensen. Hyo Yun Jung. Xenia Carlson. Edward Kashi. Antonia Kefalastavridi. Adam Quaja. Thomas Brendan Kirk. Evelyn Q. Anisha Coley. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Damage and Repair in Biological Systems, Tarit Conan Takiet. Min Ku. Kwonwa Kevin Kwong. Sinje Lagerkrantz. Heidi Lai. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Mechanisms of Gene Expression, Gabriella Lane. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Integrative Systems Biology and the Convener's Prize for Biotechnology Applications of Proteins, Young Siok Jeff Lee. <laughs> Ju He Lee. Samson Lee. Juliet Mary Lennon. Teng Yaik Peter Lim. Jonathan Lynham. Emma Lyle, Yi Liu, Yu Liu, Sai Ying Liu, Jonathan Yu Ching Lo, Zai Lu. Stephanie McIlwee. Oliver Madison. Sanuri Mahamithawa. Sharanya Mahitharan. Louis Marcantonio. Sophia Marlin. Lucy Marshall. Ellen Matheson. Laura McLeavy. Oliver Mayer Bothling. David Miao. Lucy Minkley. Petar Mitev. Nurun Yasmin. Emily Nozomi Morgan. James Murphy. Talal Musadak. 
awarded the Convenus Prize for Symbiosis, Plant Immunity and Disease, Harry, Harry Richard Myrons. Sonali Nadkani. Edward Ney. Sarah Ann Newton. Awarded the CU at Stickings Memorial Prize and the Convener's Prize for Advanced Topics in Infection and Immunity, Wen Ming Eng. Wee Shen Eng. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Plant Biotechnology and Development and the Howard Prize, Ok Man Ngao. Fudil Noher. Paulina Ogar. Sean U Ian Ong. Jonathan Palmer. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Science Communication, Alexandra Panayotu. Ashna Patel. Kara Patel. Tim Porvals. Milena Pavlikova. Ekaterina Pchelinskova. Eleonora Pirani. Sunny Pekic, awarded the Convenus Prize for Macromolecules in 3D and the Lauren Bonomo Prize, Soren Fitzner. <laughs> Miroslav Kwang and Fan. <laughs> Maite Plummer. Dorotja Polosh. Katerina Poole. Adam Posselthwaite. Teresa Soledad Pradas de la Escosura Sanchez. Swechin Chu. Awarded the Bell of Chain Prize, Fu Chua. <laughs> Dominic Raffin. Dougal Rees. Elizabeth Riak. Emma Ridley. Rachapon Rotata Nadumrong. Lorcan Rowley. Stephanie Erica Rumens. Laura Rutland. Marja Ryan. Aya Sakamoto. Juan Salcines Gomez Pardo. Alisa Samoilova. Gabriela Santosa and Andrea Cornelia Seferis awarded the James Prize of the New Phytological Trust, Mara Segroy. <laughs> Farah Sher. Rong Shen. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Medical Microbiology, Angita Schrefer. <laughs> Valentina Silenzi. Isabel K.L. Sims. 
Darius Singh. Matthew James Sinnott. Janetta Scarp. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Systems Neuroscience, Denise So. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Medical Biology and the Convener's Prize for Neuroscience Research, Cheryl So. Awarded the ICBS Prize for the Joint Honours Program, Zestin So. William Spenceley Jones. Gayathri Sritharan. James Stanner. Charlotte Elizabeth Stewart. Margot Stayat. Laura Ellen Stokes. Jessica Street. Tianyan Sun. Lok To Von Tai. Yi Teng Tan. Jia Chu Tan. Beatrice Lily Thomas. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Population and Community Ecology, Thomas Thomas. Tahira Tofa. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Global Change Biology, the Convener's Prize for Biodiversity and Conservation Biology, and the Governor's Prize, that's three prizes, Yin Shin Tok. <laughs> Janice Tong. Chirlin Tong Karlin. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Metabolic and Network Engineering and the Governor's Prize, Renee Tonkin. <laughs> Samia Toraub. Awarded the Convener's Prize for Cancer, Alicia Upton. Yella Vanderhilst. Lisa Virus, Lucy Ann Walder, Sarah Elizabeth Walker, Si Yuan Wang, Zian Wang, Shiki Wang, Cecilia Watrobska. Eleanor Weber, Alice Waitman, Ji-Yu Wen, Bethany West, Elizabeth Wiedeke, Merlin Williams, Eloise Withnell, Eric Wo, Jessica Ellen Wood, Rosie Woodruff, Su Rei Shi, awarded the See You at Stickings Memorial Prize, Li Wei Yap. Sharon Chuk Lam Yao. Sikuet Yu. 
Kaigin Jean Young, Sijia Yu, Aris Zakariadis, Anastasia Maria Zavitsanu, Shin Zhen. Jiashi Zheng, Chiyun Zhong, Jack Henry Rawson, Lucinda Smart, That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Life Sciences. I invite the head of the Department of Mathematics, Professor Richard Craster, to the lectern. Bachelors of Science from the Department of Mathematics, John Ahn. Mohammed Al-Maliki. Sotirula Andreu, Siu Chun Aul Yong, Carol Antoni Basic, Sharankan Balakuma, Thomas Barry, Stephen Basher. Alexis Bello, Omar Barada Amor, Ping Ping Kai, Kelvin Q Y Chan, Fan Chen, Yun Peng Chen. Chan Yu Cheng, Thomas Edward Ming Hong Chu, Olivia Francesca Coles. Awarded the IBM Prize for Pure Mathematics, Petru Constantinescu. <laughs> Jennifer Yen Tsui. Giovanni de Felice, Emma de Arth, Harry Dent, Tao Du, Sanjiv Dutt, Maria Zigaika, Wu Liang Fei. Shaheen Esmail, Joseph Evans, Eliana Fausti, Nathaniel Feely, Andrew Finn, Fong Chun Kit. William Kakusi Dupin, Alessandro Max Gia, Yu Chen Go, Wan Ting Go, Ying He, Wan He, James Hooper. Nicholas Huang, Marosh Iancho, Dong Yok Yong, Kei Yu Jin, 
Mark Jones. Tim Jones. Vivian Sim Jen Ko. Yong Bai Kim. Bagyata Kinga. Isabel Kirk. Yut Chit Ko. Jonathan Lau. Alina Yeni Leidinger. Raphael Lenin. Yuha Pateri Lepanan. Tse Yan Leong. Han King Lee. Ji Pum Lee. Kian Li, Ming Tang Li, Shi Yu Liang, Sung Yon Lim, Chenny Liu, Fang Tsin Tsin Liu. Ishuan Leo Sining Leo Awarded the Governor's Prize Chun Hong Lo <laughs> Nathaniel Chun Wai Lu Jonathan Chun Yong Lu Yi Rui Lo Shi Tzu Lu, Karen Lu, Christiana Mavroi Iakumu, Jing Yuan Ng, Cameron Oliver, Weilei Oshi Kom Maie, Oshi Bo Wale. <laughs> Yanis Papadopoulos. Wen Tsi. Wen Ting Ki. Ananthan Raguraj. Mansi Ran. Nikolai Rozanov. Plabon Saha Vibhaj Sajan Awarded the Scorex Prize, Bonan Sang <laughs> Awarded the Sparks Prize, Manisha Rani Segal Yi Tsao Shen, Yad He Shi, Yi Fan Shu, Siu Yi Shum, Suhaib Ahmed Siddiqui, Tanin Mongkol Kasem, awarded the Sparks Prize, Bethany Slater. Florian Song, William Sternberg, Nathan Stosel, Ki Sun, Zhong Tiang Tang, Jamie Thomas, Haraya Daniel Tigar. Jean Francois Ton, Oliver Tox, 
Tse Lai Alvin Sang. Jasmine So. Andrew Chu Fung Tsai. Rachelle Tublin. Huang Than Vu. David Wang. Wang Song Wenjia. Yiru Wang. Swan Ki Wu Wang. Shi Hu Wang. Su Ning Wen. Ka Shuen Catherine Wong. Anthony Wong. Kun Tzu. Awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Ji Han Tzu. Liu Hei Tzu. Jason. Jia Rong Yan. Run Ki Yang. Ya Kian Ye. Lok Tin Yong. Yu Fong Christopher Ying. Claudia Yip. Jia Yun Yu. Wei Yu. Song Yu. Cao Zhang. Lai Wen Zhang. Ru Yun Zhang. Bo Yen Zhang. Jonathan Zhang, Ji Bin Zhang, awarded the Gloucester Research Prize, Chang Zhang, <laughs> Yi Zheng, Masters in Science from the Department of Mathematics, Rohan Vazantha Arambopola. Callum Bedo. Patrick Georges Jeanbourg. Paul Cosma. James Patrick Crine. Daniel Dios. Samuel Sam Duffield. Adam Durant. Mohamed Farhan, Eduardo Fenati, Anton Glaskov, Dorian Guzu, awarded the LBG Prize, Rupert Hepton. Arti Joke. Alexander McCartney, Theo Harris Marudus, Gregory McEl Hindney, Connor Mackindo, Lucy Midgley, awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Ciro Monti. Spiros Paseas, Eamon Postlethwaite, Maria Teresa Ruiz Pavon, Rafael Sanchez Belo, Christopher Sean, Kunal Sharma, Susanna Tabor, 
Jin Yu Yurish Yan Tang, Eduardo Vittori, awarded the Governor's Prize, Julius von Kugelgen. Martin Ward awarded the Hyman Levy Memorial Prize, Scott Ward. <laughs> awarded the Chris Champion Prize, Mark Whitehouse. <laughs> Magdalena Petrova Zelyazkova. Costanza Rangoni. Alison Burnside, Ashia Jahanpur. That now concludes the graduates from the Department of Mathematics. I invite the head of Department of Physics, Professor Jordan Nash, to the lectern. Bachelors of Science from the Department of Physics, Saad Ahmed, Sakina Fatima Ali Khan, Callum Reese Anderson, John Keithley Paragus Arabe, Oase Ashraf. Gregory Atkinson, John Lay Clive R, Timothy Ryan Bador, Liam Barks, Jacob Bartlett, Omar Bello, Rupert Belsham. Maya Bondarevskaya, David Burns, Helen Carrington, Victoria Carter Cortez, Christian Nicholas Paul Cave, Nikita Chaturvedi. Ling Tong Chen, Xie Choi, Hong Ken Chong, Catherine Claudet, Samuel James Henry Coldrick, Han Shang Tsong, William Frederick. Neil Dobney, Anish Deer, Helen Duan, Naveen Gulam, awarded the Governor's Prize, Sergio Hernandez Guenza. <laughs> Darius Anthony Horban. Simrajit Johal, Christopher Andrew Jones, Gautam Kambampati, Kamrik Khan, V. Yen Long, Dong Ying Li. Sean Lok Lai, Shong Lian, Yan Wai, Bertram Lim, Wei Hao Lim, Farzana Anita Manan, Aoife McDonald Byer, Cheyuk Yin Mo, Matthias Molnar, C. 
Samuel Morby, Henry David Newell, Yang Shun Ying, Edward Ong, Priya Bin Patel, Monica Petruska, Jeffrey Xiao, Sarah Weck, Joana Ribeiro de Cunha Gomez Tejera, Verity Roberts, David Rudolph, Rosie Sardi Saunders, Andrew Sears Black, Harry Secret, Siddharth Segal, Jack Sheldon Smith, Simran Choker, Max Signorelli, Gaurav Sinhare, Chao Yan So, George Spackman, Naomi Catherine Sutton, Risako Tamura, Nigel Kuimeng Tiao, Linus Ho Yi Tu, Rebecca Townsend, Catherine Hannah Tiley, Charlie Hugo, Teng Kuang Bong, Jia Cheng Wang, awarded the Tesla Prize for Software, Zachary James Weller Davies. Tai Yu Wong, Shi Wu, Dai Wei Shang, Wang Yu Shou, Bai Ping Brian Yu, Xiao Yang Zhang, Wai Hang Drao. Masters in Science from the Department of Physics. Awarded the Abdus Salim Undergraduate Prize and the Governor's Prize, Martik Agjanian. <laughs> Newman Aklak. Michael Filippi Alves Silvia. Siddharth Amrat. Simon Lucas Anderson. Diego Armando Aparicio. Clark Baker. Tobias Richard William Balin. Soam Banerjee. Thomas w William Barker. Will Barnsley. Georgia Bateman, James Bezer, Sanjay Bluer, Rishikesh Chakrabarti, Hans Wei Chan, awarded the Tyndall Prize, Daniel Mahmood Chowdhury. Sankit Das, Emma Elizabeth Davies, Woo! Sophia Davies, Oscar Fergal Denian, 
Pedro dos Santos Simoas Alves Borges. K. Julia Ellison. Anton Esmal Yakas. James Fernandez. Benjamin Fernando. Richard Fish. Nicolo Forcellini. Emanuele Galizia. Benjamin Gunn. Daniel Gordon. Alexander Matthijs Haig. Jonathan Halliday. Martha Hilton. Saeed Musharat Hussein. Kurt Iverson. Omar Jahangir. Charles Edward Jenkinson. Caitlin Jones. Akash Giotti. Awarded the Calendar Prize, Nikita Kamraj. <laughs> Vinay Bupendra Kara. Vaishnavi Kewada. Mohammed Khan. Azim Khan. Arjun Ketya, awarded the CMS Prize for Particle Physics, Arnal Robert Komins Collado. <laughs> Thomas Laird, Ovan Lee, Jonathan Lee, Alexander Leonard, Constance Marnie, Alistair Mansfield, Laura Mansfield, Peter Marinoff, Daniel Marks, Jasper Sony Menkes, Lait Metti. Eden Miles, Vsevolod Mienev, Adam Muhammad, Anika Monari, Alfonso Monje Medio, Alexander Moore, Caitlin Morris. Christopher Morrison, James Morrow, Monica Mota, Charles Oliver, awarded the Ken Allen Prize, Ray Otsuki. <laughs> Samuel John Palmer, Kaustub Pardeshi. Jack Parkinson. David Samuel Phillips. Stephanie Aranti Pinto. Alicia Rahim. Utara Raju. Devin Rikabi. Andrew John Roberts, James Ruffneen, Joel Russell, Suzanne Sharp, Peter Shatwell, Chowdhury Mohammed Shuad, 
awarded the Ludlam Prize, Ignacio Siska. <laughs> Rachel Sleet. Noah Smith. Liam Smith. Catherine Smith. Jana Smutna. Matthew Anthony Stockings. Christian Victor Storm. Goroni Tawi. Sava Theocaris. Digant Tiagi. Rubriat Wahid. Harriet Amelia Walker. Robbie Watt. Lewis Weinberger. James White. Emma Charlotte Wills. Su Juan Yap. Serena Yuan. Aaron Zach, awarded the Tesla Prize for Software, Miha Zgubic. <laughs> Yui Shuang Zhang, Jae Wong Yo, Anna Carolina Portela Fonseca, Henry Price. Wajahat Khan Shawani. Visa Khan Balakumar. Eunice Chen. Fang Fei Du. Radu Emmanuel Mia. Wang Tran. Luke Jan Ho Chua. President Provost and chair. That now concludes the graduates from the Faculty of Natural Sciences.
Today we honour a colleague whose dedication to supporting her students has lasted three decades. Doris Papo has been at the heart of the Department of Chemistry since 1986, helping to support over a thousand research students in their journey through the college. Over the years, Doris's encouragement and generosity has been untiring, evidenced by her continued attendance here at the graduation ceremonies of the postgraduates she has supported since their first application to the college. Her enduring commitment to excellence in education is palpable. In a recent departmental review, it was said of Doris that every department should have a Doris. Doris has always made a point of congratulating graduates on their happy occasion. Now it is our turn to share in congratulating her on her own. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by Council, to award Ms. Doris Papo an Imperial College Medal in rec recognition of the considerable contribution she has made to the life and work of Imperial College. This award recognises someone who has helped shape the college's support services for over 30 years. Lisa Phillips first joined our community in 1985 as part of the Royal Postgraduate Medical School and has since built a reputation as a proactive and supremely effective member of the college. So often has Lisa been praised, in fact, that it has been said that she would require a separate email address to handle the volume of compliments bestowed upon her. In her role as a senior human resources manager, Lisa has helped to provide direction for the college through her rapid response, tenacity and hard work. Coupled with her work as a member of Imperial's redundancy avoidance group, she continues to make a conspicuous difference to the college in everything she does. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council, to award Ms. Lisa Phillips an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the considerable contribution she has made to the life and work of Imperial College. When you've helped welcome nearly 17,000 students into their halls of residence over the years, you could be forgiven for becoming a little jaded. And yet, when Margaret Quinn retired earlier this year, she was still supporting students moving into Evelyn Gardens with the same energy, dynamism and boundless enthusiasm as when she first started. For 28 years, Margaret helped students make the difficult first move away from home and into unfamiliar surroundings. Not only was she a source of empathy and assistance, but she also played a key role in ensuring that Evelyn Gardens received the development it needed to ensure students' needs are met. She was determined to go the extra mile to ensure that the students' needs were always the first priority. Margaret put the students at the heart of everything she did. Her dedication to Imperial College London and to its students is an example to everyone who worked with her and indeed to the entire college. I therefore invite you, President, under the powers granted to you by the Council to award Mrs. Margaret Quinn an Imperial College Medal in recognition of the considerable contribution she has made to the life and work of Imperial College.
President, Lords, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. When I was appointed Chair of Council of Imperial College, I became the first chair to have also been an alumnus of the college. And although that was some time ago, I know what it feels like to occupy the other pace on this stage. I have crossed here as a graduating student, as those of you have today, with my proud family sitting in the audience, just like many of yours are here today. Now, I'm not a huge fan of league tables, but by whatever measure you go by, Imperial College is a very special place. The Times Higher Education Rankings put us the third highest ranking university in Europe and the eighth highest in the world. Other measures vary, but in almost all of them, we feature in the top handful of places in the UK and across the world. Only around 6% of the world's population hold a degree at all, let alone one from a top university. So always remember how privileged you are. For you, today is not the end of a journey, but it's actually the beginning of many opportunities to come, and I wish you every success in harnessing them. Now, it's my responsibility today to close these proceedings, but before doing so, I'd like to thank those responsible for the success of today's ceremony. So firstly, without trying to name anybody individually, please join me in thanking all of those who've worked so hard to plan and organize today's ceremony. Secondly, I'd like us all to thank Richard Dickens and the wonderful musicians and singers who performed throughout this ceremony. Thank you. It is, of course, your day and your achievement, but sitting behind me is an array of people who've helped and guided you, and they've been joined by a great many other number of professors, lecturers, technicians and support staff, all of whom have helped you directly or indirectly. So I would ask you to thank them, all of your professors and teachers and other staff at Imperial who have helped you. And then of course there are you, our graduates. It's your drive and enthusiasm that makes Imperial such an exciting and dynamic place. So we all want to thank you graduates and celebrate your achievements. Well done. Now, although we're close to the end of the ceremony, this is not farewell. You are now part of a worldwide network of Imperial alumni We'll be here for you, and we'll be pleased to help you as you go on to have stellar careers. And I dare say it, at some point in the future, we, we may well also ask you for help. The serious point here is that we're all proud of what you have achieved, and proud of what you go on to achieve. So please do stay in touch as members of the Imperial family. Now, it seems to me that the applause so far has been very polite. Perhaps it's the formality of the occasion. And I know that the students here are well able to make more noise than that. I, I attended the student union dinner uh, last year. So very finally, I'd invite you graduates to thank your most important supporters, your mothers, your fathers, your brothers, your sisters, your children and your friends, and those who've helped you and been there when you need them most. So please stand up and thank your family and friends. Thank you.